Disclaimer. The following highlight video contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. Your discretion is advised. Hey, stop. Aubrey, what the, the heck are you guys doing here? Not here to give us back bases for the We aren't used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business. Yeah, Kel. Exactly. We used to be friends. You know, Mario. You really said to hear that. <laughs> Already? You really wanna bring Mari into this? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari is dead. I mean, the girl that was literally in the white space just teleporting around is now dead. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick. Or I'll come at you first. Boy! Coach. Yo! Alright! Or you two! Look at our clothing. It's inappropriate for church. Huh. Serve you right, Cal. Now, leave me alone. Good night, Ron. Sweet dreams. Yeah, good night and welcome back to... Oh boy. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Okay. Um, that's not okay. Okay, uh, that is even more not okay. Uh, do I rush down? I will... Okay. Eh? Hi. What? Eh? Hi, Omori. Or, well, Roman. Okay. I don't like the long shadow there. Oh, boy! Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. Yeah, wait, that's the same thing. It's the same opening to white space. Oh, well. Boy, oh boy, I've been waiting for so long for this event. It's a delightful day indeed. Oh. Oh, yes, oh, yes, at least uh, our glorious princess sweetheart finally make her appearance. Oh my, oh my, I can hardly contain my excitement. So it's sure Oh dear, oh dear, we must hurry. Our front row show tickets are right here. Right in front of the time to for our lives and we must not be late. Now, oh, which way do we go again? Okay. And there it is. Oh, cool. These buttons dropped some tickets. Let me see. Oh, they're from throw tickets for some kind of film. Featuring Sweetheart. Wasn't that Captain Space Boy's ex boys girlfriend? Yeah, it looks like some sort of contest or something. If you happen to pass by, we should stop and watch. We do have front row show tickets after all. Well, alright. Maybe we can drop why if you happen to come across it? Hi Basil! I don't like this.
Wake up to the last floor where you find things you know where the last interface. Okay, what's in here? Are you have to find the right combination, right? Okay. Okay. Up right. Oh no. What happens if I go back? We all hold secrets, no matter how lost or how deep them, where them they find their way back to the other side. Okay. No way, this is the right place for you. Job. What job? Ah, okay. I've reached the end of the lost forest, but the beginning of the truth will tell you a story that has been lost through time. A story about the creation of this reality. In the beginning, there were all, oh, there only existed two. The dreamer and his room. The dreamer grew weary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. Walking the path as a visitor to these worlds, the dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. The dream was slowly filled with dread. Quiet as they may have been, words of malice quietly crept into his mind. Whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. And he compounded his worlds above the dark realm, sealing it with their combined might. Yet, despite his valiant efforts, the darkness presence never abated. Even with new allies, the darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsued, subsided, but it never went away. The dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but at once still has to face his own reflection. What the dreamer had created was something he could not be part of. Something outside himself. The dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary. Knowledge or the absence of it would become the dreamer's greatest gift. To truly escape the perils of his own fac faculty and descend to a blissful state of ignorance. Only then would the noise cease to agitate the dreamer's sanity. So, the dreamer took on another name and chose to forget himself. From that time on, the dreamer has lived among us, simply as an inhabitant of this world, traveling along blissfully ignorant of his own fabrication. 
Children, I must warn you. As with all things that are born in, the end, in and out of this world, an end will threaten this one too. Though the dreamer may have subdued the inexorable, the darkness grows still. No bandages can stifle an eternal wound. And there will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Forgetful the dreamer may be of this peril, a peril now forgets to be. Yet the end of this world may be an inevitable inevitability. The dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. Bye-bye. Oh, fish. I got an H. Okay. That was something. Let's go. Oh, going faster, eh? And that's how we go. Let me guess, some sweetheart is now happening. Oh, yes, sweetheart! Oh, boy! <sighs> Basil, are you here? Basil, where are you? It doesn't look like Basil is here either. Hey, look, it's Mari. Yo, how did you come in here? Mari, Mari! Oh, hello, everyone. How did you come in? How the f Okay, I know, you're dead, and so on. And you're probably a ghost, or just a memory. But still, it doesn't, logically, it doesn't make sense. Um, um, those look like zombies, and I'm scared. Like, holy moly of a goldie. I don't like the sound. I don't like the sound. But did you? And a... Uh, oh, this is in beat. Oh, my God. Okay, now going back and heal. Ah. <sighs> Broad Mole Village. Oh, thunder is Mari. First time being in a 2D version. Jesus Quest for Heart. So, let's go in. My God. Wow, look at this huge stage. It's just as amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats. It looks like the show is about to start. No. Yes. Oh. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Mills. welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Before our show, we wanted to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, your old sprout. He was truly the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. Isn't this the guy that I fought in the, in the prologue? <coughs> well, may he rest in peace. Anyway, and out onto the show. Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess once again felt to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time, we've rounded up three new very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now! Contestant number one is a local of Sprout Mall Village. He's coming in at three, three, three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He's a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant number one. Contestant, contestant number two is, yep, you guess it, also a local of Sprout Mall Village. Careful, he's coming in hard at three feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combinations is brown and green, and he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Hmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant number two! And now for something completely different. Contestant number three comes all the way from Otherworld. It's like he just fell out of the sky, literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snolly! Oh, Snolly! <laughs> and now, it's the moment you've been all waiting for. Dim the lights, please. So she emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most that word. Faust. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's the old. That is amazing and wonderful. She's just about to set foot on this very stage. Please give a big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent sweetheart. Rip and snarl it. And it was never seen again. Oh no. Oh no, there's a blackout. Now what do we do? I have to know what happens next. Let's wait it out. I'm sure the Sprout Moss will get the power back on in no time. Help! We don't know what to do! Help! We don't know what to do to either! Help! 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 Well... You should look around just in case. It looks like a school. That is a basically a room. Yep, there was actually nothing at all down there. What's down here? Okay. Ooh. Christmas. Want to cut the Christmas tree? I mean, Christmas is ruined. <laughs> At least I got the present. Someone, please help me. I'm in need of a handsome young gentleman. Oh, you, yes. You there in the striped pants. You magnificent beast. Yours. Ho ho ho. Yes, you look like you'll do just fine. 
Um, can I just ask what? Huh? Well, uh, why? Thank you. I don't know what to say. Please, Kanto, will you help out a poor lonely mom? I'm desperately in need of your service. Well, since you ask so nicely, how can I refuse? Thank you, thank you, young lad. You're too generous. Please come this way now. Chop, chop. Well, wait, hold on. Can my friends come too? Ah, yes, your friends. You're all here to see Sweetheart's quest, yes? If so, you will all meet again soon enough. Now come, sir. We must make haste. Haste. Time is short. Hero left. Hero left the party. Let me guess. It's, instead of snarling, we have Hero now. Rest in peace, Snarling. I mean, technically not. Greetings, sweetheart fans. We apologize for the short intermission. Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. During the break, we regret to inform you that a tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. It is at this time we announce the sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds that we got to know him. He was truly a unique and really irreplaceable soul. Nevertheless, but the show must go on. Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant number three. Hailing all the way from the base, base, best forest. It's our hero in shining armor. <laughs> Get this, guys. Here is a real hunk standing at the whopping five foot seven. His passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. And if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and my personality. And now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most <laughs> face. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. She's the one, the only, the magnificent. Oh, oh, oh. it's hard. I'm getting my sh my shoe ready because I'm, I I I think I need to punch somebody. Shut! An accident entrance, Malish. Ah, yes! It is me! Hello, my stupid adoring fans. Oh, it's this kind of... It's this kind of princess. We love you, sweetheart! Yeah, you're the best! The Dory thing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Sweetheart, we have brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto this stage. Well, actually, only two. Two from your own village, and then one to suddenly pop up because the other one died. <clears throat> Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Let's start with some questions. One thing that Sweetheart well is most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. So she's a dumb. Do you, Contestant Amon, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Contestant Amon, what is your answer? Uh, Sure, I don't know. I guess. Playing hard to get, I guess. I think. What do you think about that response, Sweetheart? Hmm, just three feet tall? My, that is much too short. Send it off. To the dungeon. Uh, hey, wh what did you say? The, the, the dungeon? Let me guess it's the one with the big plan. It's definitely the one with the big plan. How did you... Help me! Now, on to contestant number two. 
We ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer. Just answer truthfully. There's actually a right or wrong answer. It's basically the right answer is yes, of course, my lady. And the wrong answer is everything else. <laughs> Contest number two. Will you pledge your allegiance to the sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, uh, sure, if that means I won't get sent to the dungeon. My word, this one. His very being offends me. Take him away, boy. <laughs> Take him away, boys. <laughs> and you gone. Well, you die. Contestant number three, it looks like you're the last one standing. I'll ask the same question one more time. Again, no pressure at all. Do you here agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, no, that doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? Same. My, this one. He's absolutely immaculate. Could it be a Sweetheart in love? Oh, it's, oh so it's basically one of those. If you don't show me your loyalty, you're gone. Suddenly, one who is actually met first of her criteria and just goes, No, bitch? Are you dumb? Are you crazy? It's like an instant. What an exciting turn of events. This must be fate. A mage made in heaven. Well, wait, but I just said, Ah, yes, you'll do just fine. Now, what was your name again? Uh, huh? It is, uh, it's Hero, ma'am. Hero. My hero. I get your joke, there, developers. I don't like it, though. We must go to my chambers at once. Guards, I have chosen my suitor. Take him away. Somebody's getting fished. Guys, please do something! It's time to fight. Whoa, he's gonna marry sweetheart? I don't know. I didn't see that one coming at all. Yeah, what are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? I don't want to go to the dungeon. Ugh, Cal, you're so useless. Hero, you have to reject sweetheart! It's time, hero. Your princess awaits. I will not do this left because if I do it, then I will punch myself, okay? Uh, I don't think she's going to listen to me. I mean, you refused... We rejected her a role. Okay, I mean... You've, you said no to the question and that's why... Yeah. Just do it already! Okay, I'll try. Excuse me? Sweetheart? Ma'am? Ah, yes, my lovely hero. How I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> That's so nice of you. I mean... Uh, why do I have to do this? Um, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Why? Whatever do you mean, my prince? I... Uh, this is all really flattering and all, but, you know, we only just met, like, a few moments ago, and, well, I have to recheck your, um, offer? Oh, pshew, pshew, don't be silly, hero. I've never heard anything sillier. It, it's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I, I don't want to be, mar to marry you. Oh, fish, you're done. <laughs> so, time for the bouquet, boys. <laughs> and girls. And any, anything in between. And outside. Somebody's going to die time today. Again, multiple times. This. This is preposterous. No. This. This is blasphemy. You dare reject, sweetheart. Yes, I do. I have my free will and choice, and I reject your confession. Everyone lost, sweetheart. You hear me? Everyone. Don't want to say it again. 
Okay, not really, but I didn't say really, but uh, let me say it. I have a shoe and I throw the shit out of you. Send him off to the dungeon. Hey, stop right there. You can't take care of him. He belongs to us. What's this now? What's a non... What is a non-sweetheart friend doing in the audience? I mean, he's not a... He's not a fan too. So. Ah, I see. You must be here as fans. The nerf of you lot. First you make a fool out of me. Then you interrupt me during my show on show. I'm the one who makes the rules around here. No. Guards, take them away. How many did they? Now you've done it, Aubrey. Well, welcome to the dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. And everything in and out of those two genres. Oh, man. Now we're all stuck in the dungeon. Sorry, guys. It's my fault that we're all in this mess. No, it's not Hero. No one could have predicted that would happen. I mean, I, I did. Technically, I, I predicted it. Ho, 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 ho. I will never laugh like this again, okay? Ho, 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 ho. You fools. Don't you recognize me? It's me, Rosa. The number one sweetheart friend in the world. I told you that you'll all pay for crossing me. Persis, we've been bamboozled. I should have known you were behind this, Rosa. It's true what they say. Revenge is sweet. No, rot, you peons. Rot in the dungeon forever. Where's you? Dang it. How are we ever going to get out of here? We'll find a way. Come on, guys. Let's think about this. Where do we even start? It's not like they just leave the gate unlocked. Would they? Would they leave the gate unlocked? The first question that I'm currently also having is, how the fish can they even ha ha hold them with their non-existent hands? So, uh, yeah. Do I think they unlock the door, the gates? Well, I only say, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh, hi, Mari. Hey, it's Mari. Hey, Mari, help us. We're stuck in the dungeon. How did you even get in? Oh, no. There you go. Now come here and enjoy a nice picnic with me. I promise you'll feel better right away. Can I first ask... How the fish did you got in here? 